information for most some of the people. Land transport, which is coming up in a big way. Dubai Jabalali Free Zone going to be a land uh, transport hub for the Middle East distribution. So it's going to be a professional transport network. So that's something which you people can look forward. Uh, there is going to be definitely pressure of work. People are going to be having long hours of work. So only the way to come up with this long hour work is to come uh, to ease out your pressure by be a part of a professional forum whereby you can develop professionalism, get into the new technologies and migrate into better softwares and uh, things where you can add value to it. Uh, the seven soft skills which, which are Toastmasters and all the international organization which practices, now it's getting prevalent in the logistic industry. Today, an art of living or if you say stress management, uh, all those things are becoming part of logistics. People from the logistics industries have been recognized and they are undergoing all these sort of trainings to keep themselves fit into the tomorrow's challenges. So, and at the same time, the health, environment and safety, which is another area which has been uh, concerned. The days have gone where you could have anything stacked in any warehouses in Jabalali. The Jabalali free zone is getting tougher and tougher. The products and the specification has to be given to them. You can't store any item anywhere. Uh, they are getting more and more severe on the health and avenue, avenues. So, so what summing up all these things, there is a lot of opportunities for all of us. And uh, this is a forum which you can take it on. So I wish you all the best. And I welcome you all on the ECF forum. And uh, even though I took a little time extra because I thought it's a, in, I should give you some insight about what's happening in the logistics industry to keep pace with it tomorrow. I'll, uh, thanks a lot for all of you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shankar. I think this is more comfortable. Uh, by the way, Mr. Shankar is also the director of HPL, uh, High Performance Logistics Solutions. And uh, we are really lucky to have him as the mentor for ESEF. Now, I have some good news and some bad news for you, for all of us. So you want the good news or the bad news first? Bad news, yeah? Okay. Both, both together I can't give. <laughs> the bad news is that unfortunately, due to health problems, Mr. Michael Prophet cannot be here with us today to give his keynote address. It's really sad because till four in the evening, even though he was not keeping well, he was trying to come. But ultimately, at around 4.35, he told us he's really sick and can't make it. That's a sad news for all of us. But the good news is that he said, the next time you invite me, I will ensure that I'm healthy. And he will be there with us. So we look forward to having him in our next session, which will be very soon and will be intimated to all of you. So in his place today, the learning continues. Uh, there is another gentleman who is going to teach us something new. He is going to talk to us about the challenge. Now this person is sitting right here at the podium, Mr. Alexander Bog. He is the director with SSM, that is Support and Supply Chain Management. They do a lot of training and consultancy on logistics and supply chain in North Africa, in the Middle East, Gulf, Cyprus, Turkey and Europe. He, in UAE, he also does a lot of training for UAE nationals on supply chain and logistics. He is also the regional director for CILT. Mr. Bogue graduated in purchasing and supply chain management from the Chartered Institute of Purchasing and Supply, CIPS, in Stamford, and in stores and inventory management from the College of Professional Management in Jersey, UK. He also holds an international and recognized qualification in logistics management and continuously undergoes training in the UK. We are very glad to have Mr. Alexander Bogue with us today, and uh, we are looking forward to his talk on the challenge. Please help me welcome Mr. Alexander Bogue. Thank you, Mr. Menon. 
I think Shankar did not much, left too much for me to say, yeah? <laughs> anyway, it's a great pleasure to be here. Good evening. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Um, um, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Menon for the great presentation about CILT. But I will talk about CILT later on in the, in the event, so I will talk something about the logistics. Uh, to continue with the, uh, with the, with the, to keep in line with uh, my colleague Shankar, I kept the same concept of challenge. At five o'clock, I was preparing to take a shower. Suddenly, I received about five calls from members of this ESEP Emirates Supply Chain Forum because uh, we received the news about uh, our colleague Michael Profits. So I tried to prepare something very, very quick. I hope it will, uh, it will, you will enjoy with my points. Okay, but it is, it is my pleasure to assist always the uh, Emirates Supply Chain Forum. Um, why I have chose the challenge? Uh, since the concept of logistics has been developed for many, many years back, it was always a challenge uh, to plan, implement, organize and monitor, especially with transport. We know that you can't have transport without logistics and we can't, we can't, you can't have logistics without transport. I'm sure that most of you uh, read a lot of great people and great generals. I would like to remind you to go back and we see, try to see from where this start, started this concept. Um, a lot of great people which has made names for themselves and for their country and how they managed to plan and implement great strategies. We had the great Alexander, the, but the great, all right? Not Borg, the great. I'm sure you had heard about him. At the, age, at the young age of 30, okay, he managed to conquer most of the east side of the world with, a, with, a, with, a, with about 40,000 people, the, the history said, that with 40,000 people, he managed to take over Babylonia and fight against the um, great empire of that time with 200, against 250,000 people. Five point something to one. Can you imagine standing there, a soldier facing a huge empire? Yeah? Five to one. But with great strategy, he'd done it. We had a lot of other people after Alexander the Great, French Empire, and the last one was the British Empire. Most of the great British, uh, one of the great uh, British general, Montgomery, stated that a battle is not won on the field, but on the quartermaster, which means that you need a great uh, feel of planning and again strategy. Through the years, we saw a shift from military to industry. In, this, in the industry, we had to continue to see a huge development, such as the 1PL, 2PL, 3PL, 4PL, what's next? We also had a huge investment and development in the ICT. We, we, heard, we hear a lot of, allow me to say, jargon such as MRP, MRP2, now ERP, DRP, again, What's next? Not least, the people development. In the recent years, again, we saw a huge development and a lot of investment in people development. Many universities, institutes, colleges, training centers have introduced 